Well, hello, everybody. I've got my personal chauffeur right there. <laughs> and we are headed to visit historic Marysville, Kansas. 20 miles to Marysville. We are 10 miles from home and in Kansas. <laughs> I got that wrong. from here is the well are the Flint Hills. I used to live there. <laughs> I don't I it. <laughs> we just saw a sign that says we are now in the Flint Hills and I didn't get a picture of the sign but you can see them. And that's better than a sign. <laughs> right here, they're just really covered with cedar. Cedar grows a lot down here. Oh, it grows a lot in Nebraska, too. But <laughs> Stand by. Dang it. Lee Dam Center for Fine Art. That's a new one. That, I don't know what that used to be, but another squirrel. I'm glad the real ones aren't that big. They have a very big park. You, you probably won't get to see all of it, but there's one of the attractions there. And that is the swimming pool. It's still a, a railroad town. That's another reason why they built those overpasses. It's the county seat of Marshall County. But I think that must be apartments there. They used to have a big railroad, and I, I suppose it might still be here, big railroad hotel, and a lot, it was actually a lot of it was, well, this has been boarded up. This is the Pony Express Barn. That's, okay. This is the Pony Express Barn. There's, yeah, barn and museum. And I don't know why it's all boarded up. That's crazy. It's the door. Hmm. Uh, oh, that could, oh, that's a barn door. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. But. There's a pretty one. But yeah, you can see some of these buildings are newer, but there's a, well, I missed it. It was a, it's a dress shop, but part of it's closed. But here's, now they have one in Beatrice like this. Kind of a bay on the upper floor. Maybe the same person built them. Bank. Yep, that that's a bank. Oh, I've still got this thing. No wonder. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, I still had it zoomed. But farmer and florist. <laughs> Probably grow their own out of the farm. But, okay, this is the Kester House. Uh, it's, they built this brick wall at some point, but it is a, I can't find the finish or anything. Where's the sign? Anyway, it's the Kester House and Museum and Garden. They, I don't know if they still have a restaurant in there, but they say it is absolutely wonderful. Um, I 
there it is, the Kester House. Huh. They changed that. They took out the, because it used to be the corner. It's right here, isn't it? Oh, that was, oh, this, yeah. This is the main house. Commercial property for rent. That's sad. They, I think they've got the museum in the other building. But they used to have a really good restaurant in here. And hopefully they'll get another one. It's... They say it's beautiful inside. I never had a chance to, to tour it or go in. But going through here at Christmas time is absolutely beautiful. They have a gazebo that they decorate up and just a lot of beautiful stuff. It's a pretty one. Looks like a two and a half story maybe oh, and they've got a built, probably a porch built on the back okay we're back to where we, there's the Marysville tennis courts oh, I don't know what I did to my lower lip I think I need to use some chappy stick oh. <laughs> yep there's a Union Pacific. Yes. Uh, th well, that's the old Beatty um, Depot, I think. Beatty is a town east of here. They must have moved it in here. There is um, an old Union Pacific engine. They used to have a caboose here, too, I thought. But... This is at the beginning of, or at the northern edge of the of the park. And there is Marysville High School. I graduated from there. Then we take a right. Yep. We can drive through them through the park. We were the Bulldogs. I only went there my senior year. Is that a tank of some kind? What? With the engine? Oh, I don't know. It could be. It looks like an old steam engine. Uh, Bomber School, District 123. This is a sod house. I think it's the last. It might be the Marysville Kiwanis sod house. <laughs> I, got it. I can't remember. I think it's around. I'll have to ask my daughter. She goes to all that stuff. They have a flea market down here. Every year, and it's just loaded. with crafts and there's a little they built that little fort and stuff kids just play on there have a blast I like the antique look they've given it <laughs> I guess I never noticed it well it wasn't there when I lived down here so I guess I didn't think about it Oh, look at the, look at the, the size of that slide. That's a big one. Hope you can see that. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Marysville Aquatic Center. That's that goes into the swimming pool, and I'm. Yeah, I'm zoomed again. There. Excuse 
excuse me. I always hope I'll see a black squirrel, a real one. <laughs> but you kind of have to be where they like to run. Generally, that's not so much the downtown public areas. Too much traffic. Now, I don't believe when Kansas was homesteaded that they ever had to plant a tree. <laughs> I think the trees are... Oh, they put glasses on this guy. <laughs> um, are you recording or not? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I forget and leave it in standby, but not this time. Oh, golly. Bumpity bump. Here's some historic houses here. Big. Big and beautiful. This building here, this newer looking one, that is the new um, courthouse and county seat. There's the sign right there. Anyway, but this one here is now, I don't know if they're still using it for a museum, but it couldn't qualify for the, um, or it didn't, I don't know if they just didn't qualify, but it does have a nice big spire on it. And they turned it into a museum. But that, that courthouse, man, I used to go there to get my driver's license, everything, my learner's permit. Back then, you could get a learner's permit at 14, and then you could get your full license at 16. And... Yeah, they do still use it for a museum. 1891. I got it. Yeah, there it is. I'm not sure if that's maybe some apartments or something. I don't know. I'll have to doesn't have a sign. Now, Marysville is in the Flint Hills. <laughs> and so it's very, this is very hilly. And, <laughs> oh, I've got some stories about that. I had a babysitter when Angie was just little. Lived in you can see we are pointing upward right now. <laughs> and <coughs> the uh, babysitter lived on the, in the downhill part. <laughs> and it got, I managed to drive from home to the babysitter. And home was in home Kansas. <laughs> Yeah, that's the name of it. We always called it Home City because people never knew what we were talking about. But anyway, <coughs> so, but my babysitter lived down on the bottom part. This is it. I think this might still be a church. I don't know. Yeah, First Baptist Church. And there's some Sonic and this is where a lot of this stuff has built up east of town. They do have a small airport, um, just a small unit municipal one. Anyway, back to my story. <laughs> my babysitter was downhill and the hospital where I worked was uphill. I, I'm, I got to the babysitters 
and no matter what I did, I could not get that car to get started going uphill. <laughs> I ended up having to call into work because the streets were icy. And they did not use salt down here, but I had to call my then husband. I was very young. And if I'd have known then the value of keeping blankets to put under your tires or rags to keep put under your tires, I may not have been stuck and I may not have had to call in to work. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire.